Hey, it's Kimberly and welcome back to my channel. I make videos on all things lifestyle on a budget and today I'm going to take you grocery shopping with me. Every once in a while, I'd say like once every month or every other month, I'll go to the grocery store and get like a big purchase of everything, trying some new vegan items, getting my essentials, etc. So today I went to Stop and Shop and I'm just kind of looking around the grocery store showing you guys, uh, you know, what are the things that I normally pick up, etc. So if you want to see what I got on this trip and how I spent 120 something dollars on groceries and then some of the stuff wasn't even that great awkward moment um but hey it happened i wanted to try it so keep on watching and let's get into it for this trip my focus was good sales getting a few essentials and then looking at some of the new vegan products that i had never seen or tried before I love a good buy one get one free so I definitely had to take part in that. The question is did I need this many cucumbers? Maybe not but let's just see what I come up with. In regards to organic foods it really just comes down to price. If it's affordable I will go for organic instead of regular. If it's not I just go for the regular. This brand of vegan kimchi is so good, but I prefer to wait for a sale. And see, in this instance, the carrots that were organic were only 99 cents. And I'm trying to get into sweet potatoes more, so I picked up some. And when it comes to hummus, I'm not really particular, so I just go right for the sale. Has anyone tried this? It's a sesame hazelnut spread. I don't know, it was $22, which is insanity, but I'm just curious. These Mary's crackers are really good, but I didn't want to spend $5 on it, so that's something I would wait for a sale. These are my absolute favorite, favorite, favorite snack. But again, I need a sale. This was basically $4.59. I thought this vegan Think Bar would be good to try out, but I'm normally with the Cliff Bars, which are only a dollar. And I do love edamame as a snack, so I picked up some of those, which are only $3.79. All right, somebody help me out here. Have you ever tried this Caribbean rice and beans from a can? I've never seen this before. And I mean, the ingredients are vegan and pretty straightforward, but I don't know. Has anyone tried it? These pastas were on sale, but I could probably find better prices. So I skipped through that. And I also have a ton of pasta already. On the vegan mac and cheese, this one is so good, but that's expensive. And even here too, these rice packs definitely can find cheaper. But I was curious about this French lentil soup, so I decided to give it a try. It was on sale for $3, which is a lot, but still. And peanut butter. Oh, do not get these high price, price peanut butters. There's definitely lower ones with simpler ingredients, but $8 is extreme. And now to the frozen section. I love a sale and I love Gardein, so of course I had to get some. I usually pick up one of the vegan chickens or one of the burgers. This time I went with the burger. And then these breakfast bowls are phenomenal. They're so good, I can't even. And this one was delicious. I ended up having it later on. I'd never seen this pot pie before and I decided to give it a try as well. These are some other vegan brands that are in the frozen section that are also pretty good as well. And then I have never seen avocado ice cream, but that's out there. And now on to more protein options. This actually looked like it would be really good, but I just decided not to get it. 
And I just spent like the next five minutes deciding between getting the tempeh that I normally get or to go with the vegan sausage. And I decided the sausage instead because I could probably get more out of it. And then I did find a lower price for those rice packs. So I picked up some Uncle Ben's. And there was another buy one get one free and Triscuits are pretty simple ingredients. So I picked up a couple of those and oh, did I want to get one of these for just a dollar, but I didn't. And here's another accidentally vegan option as well. When shopping for popcorn, I just have to make sure that there's no milk. So the Nature's Promise was a dud, but the Newman's Own was good. And here are some better options for peanut butter in terms of price. So I just took a little comparison between the few and decided to go with the Skippy Natural one. On this trip, it was actually difficult to find the types of beans that I wanted. Now there were so many, which is great, but I try to aim for finding one that has no salt at it. So it's literally just beans in water. And as you can see, a lot of the different ones had either low sodium or they just had salt in it. And I only found two cans, if you can believe it, two cans that had no salt added. So I just picked up those. I had a couple cans at home, so it wasn't the end of the world. And dried beans just take longer to prepare, so they're not awful, but in this moment, I just wanted something that was just faster. More pasta options, definitely just kind of wait for a sale. I did like seeing that there was mung bean pasta because that's a really good source of protein. I've seen these Amy soups for lower, so I decided to skip it even though they were on sale. And then in regards to baked beans, I've always been curious to want to try them and the ingredients do seem like they're vegan. I just haven't before, so if anybody has, let me know what brands you use because they are like flavorful. Here's another brand too, just has like sugars and different things like that in it. Seems vegan friendly, but I just wasn't positive. Vegan whipped cream, say what? This is where my indecisiveness was just jumping out. I could not decide. I wanted to treat myself and get an ice cream, but all I kept doing was looking at the prices, walking back and forth. I saw something cheaper. Definitely wait for sales for the most part for the vegan ice creams because they usually just have them very high priced, like $5 for those little things. But as you can see, I went back because I got one that was from $4.79 and i just kept walking back and forth picked up the whipped cream because i thought that'd be fun to try on camera and then right before i was leaving i realized that briars had like a full tub of vegan ice cream in two flavors not really interested in like a vanilla peanut butter but they had oreos which makes me super excited because oreos and cookies and cream were my favorite growing up so of course i had to try that dropped that other one off and was like please go to the checkout and get out of here got my stuff and here's what i got Rest assured, this is not my normal grocery price. I couldn't imagine spending this like weekly or whatever, but I'm hoping I did stock up on some good vegan snacks. We'll see. And now on to this ice cream. I had high hopes for this. My go-to has always been the Ben & Jerry's vegan kind, but I've also tried So Delicious, which is really good. And the Talenti Mango Sorbet, I believe, is one. That's pretty tasty as well. I really, really, really liked this whipped cream. I was impressed. The ice cream was like, it was good. It just wasn't as sugary, I guess. The Oreos made it a thousand times more flavorful than the actual ice cream parts itself. So thank God for those Oreos because those were great. All right, so that is everything that I got from the grocery store. And yes, for the new vegan items that I had, I'd say about... Um, 
like half of them or a quarter of them were actually like really good um like i was saying with the ice cream it was good it just wasn't like amazing but you know what made it amazing the oreos in it the whip was really good uh, they had coconut and they had almond milk and i just went with the almond milk one that buffalo chicken sandwich was really good it just had like a lot of dough around it obviously because it was like inside but i wouldn't buy that all the time it was almost 600 calories no one needs that on the daily so do i recommend that like no um but if you just want to try it out like go for it oh the garden breakfast bowl oh my gosh i just didn't expect it was going to be that good i've tried the other bowls some of the different flavors and they've been like pretty good but this one like knocked me out i was like this is amazing there was like a good amount of the little garden strips in there like it wasn't skimpy on the fake meat buying the mangoes out of season like surprisingly they were really good really sweet for overall when you're just getting your essentials like you can find them for pretty affordable i like to shop at stop and shop or trader joe's some Sometimes Whole Foods, but again, if I'm doing Whole Foods, I'm only getting like that 365 brand, which is like a little bit more affordable. But I did feel like a clown with some of the items that I got. I was like, I didn't need to get that, but I wanted to try that and I wasted my money. It happens, it's fine. I just won't be ever getting them again. So anyway, that's the video for today. I thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.